Guess what we doing today? So you remember about a week ago or so we made a recipe for apple cider for dogs. If you missed it, there will be links up above and down in the video description below. Today we're making cider donuts for dogs, which is why we had to make the homemade dog apple cider. <laughs> So that is what we are going to do today. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so that you can be notified whenever we put up new videos. For those of you that don't know who we are, my name is Jess. That is Shelby. This is Memphis. And we're going to make some dog treats. Let's do it. So yes, as I said, we are making cider donuts for dogs. If you guys would like to see more of our treat videos, again, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. We're just gonna jump right into this. The first thing you're going to need to do for this recipe is preheat your oven to 325 degrees. You're going to need one large bowl. We're gonna mix everything in here. And then you're also going to need a donut pan. I'm using a mid-size, this isn't a mini, this is a mid-size donut pan. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the video description below in case you guys wanna get your own. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. So the first thing we're going to need is two cups of gluten-free flour. This is like a combination of rice flour and coconut flours to make a gluten-free flour. I actually just bought the pre-mixed gluten-free flour to see how it work. I have never actually used it when making dog treats. I've always kind of done my own. So I figured I'd give it a shot and see if it works better than trying to mix it all together on my own. Next, we will need two teaspoons of baking powder. And I, for those of you wondering, I use aluminum-free baking powder. You can find it in pretty much any grocery store. And then we're gonna add just a little bit less than half a teaspoon of cinnamon. There is cinnamon in the cider that we made, so I didn't wanna add too much to it, but you still wanna give it that good smell. What do you th There's not really gonna be a whole lot of stuff here you can actually taste because it all has to go in here. Is that okay? We're just gonna whisk these dry ingredients together for a little bit here. And then after that's all whisked together, we're going to kind of just make a little well in between here where we're gonna pour all of our wet ingredients. Okay, for the wet ingredients, we are going to use one cup of our homemade dog apple cider. I'm gonna stir it because it does tend to settle a little bit. Not that I'm not gonna stir it when it goes in here. Um, if you don't wanna make the homemade apple cider recipe that we made, you can buy unsweetened apple cider. Wanna try it? I know, you liked it, didn't you? Shelby has no interest. Shelby's like, I don't want that. It's apples. I will take it when it's all together. Okay, did you get it? Is that enough? Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, no, 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 stay out of the bowl. You stay out of the bowl. I know, you're cute, stay out of the bowl. Then we are going to take two large eggs already beaten, a quarter of a cup of coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. A half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah, it gives it flavor, but it also gives it a good smell. For those of you that are gonna ask if it's okay for you to eat this, yeah, there's nothing in it that people can't eat, but it doesn't have any sugar in it, so it's not gonna taste that great. Next, we are gonna do one tablespoon of coconut cooking oil. And I say coconut cooking oil because you can see how it's already like liquidy. Some people get that confused with the coconut oil that's like hard. The cooking, the coconut cooking oil is, is the stuff to use. The oven is preheated. And then last, we are gonna add, oh, you might like this, huh, Shelby? One tablespoon of honey. This will give it a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. And that's it. And if you do the coconut oil first and then the honey, you guys taught me this in the comments. It makes it so the honey doesn't actually stick to the spoon. There's nothing there. It didn't stick. Shelby, wanna try it? Hey, Shelby. Would you like to try this? Okay. <laughs> Shelby says no. So now we're gonna use a hand mixer. I could have used my KitchenAid mixer, but I decided to just go with the hand mixer today. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix this together. And it should be a lot like cake batter. Since we are baking these donuts, they're gonna be more like a cake donut. We don't wanna deep fry them. You better not stick your tongue in there. That won't be fun. Woo! You want that? 
How did I know? Oh, here, I have two of them. You really need your own? She can have her own, you can have your own. Did you see that? She's like, I don't want to lick the same one that Memphis is licking. I would like my own. You got it? Is it good? It smells amazing. I have to say, for this being the first time I've actually used the gluten-free flour mix, it looks like cake batter, so it looks pretty good. Next, we are going to coat our pan. I am going to use Baker's Joy. That is my spray of choice, non-stick spray of choice. And then we are going to spoon some of this batter into the little donut things. You want them to be about two thirds full. You don't want them to fill all the way to the top because these should rise a little bit. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. So kind of like when you do a cupcake, about two thirds full. So about like that. Can you see that in there, how full it is? So I'm gonna go through and go ahead and continue filling these. All right, so we have our pan filled up here. The girls are waiting ever so patiently. Would you like to try a little bit of batter? Just a little, okay. What do you think, Shelby, you wanna try it? <laughs> I see you licking your lips over there. Come here, there you go. She's like, oh, that part I like. <laughs> You're so goofy. Um, I'll probably be able to get about two rounds out of this. I have about half left, there's about half in here. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Again, at 325 for 10 to 15 minutes. You want them to rise a little bit, but be a little springy to the touch when they are done. So that is what we're gonna go do right now. I also wanna take a moment to remind you guys that these are treats. This is not a meal supplement for your dog. This is just a treat to feed in moderation. And if you're ever worried about what we put in these treats and you don't want to feed them to your dogs, you can always ask your vet. Or if you don't feel comfortable feeding it to your dogs, don't. My dogs like it though, so I'm going to feed it to them. We're going to put these in the oven. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to show them? You ready to show them? The donuts are done? All right. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. So there are our cider donuts for dogs. Now, you could decorate these if you want to. And I thought about it. I thought about doing like a peanut butter dip frosting or a carob dip frosting. Um, but you know what? I think they're super cute just the way they are. So I'm actually not gonna decorate them. We're just gonna go ahead and let the dogs try them the way they are. What do you think? Do you want a donut? How about you, Memphis? Memphis, do you want a donut? You want a treat? Yeah, you want a treat? You do? All right, let's try the donuts and see what you guys think. I also want to note that I ended up, this is the second round that I made. The first round that I made look a little bit different. Here, let me just show you. So this is one of the first ones that I made. It looks, you can see how it looks a little bit different than the other ones I just showed you. Uh, the second round that I made, I put the dough in a piping bag and piped it into the donut thing so that I didn't end up with a bunch of funky edges on the donuts. Oh man, you're ready, aren't you? Okay, let's try a donut. All right, are you ready? Memphis, sit. Sit on your butt. Sit. Good job. Okay, can you speak? You spoke first. There you go. Have a donut. Okay, sit. Memphis, speak. That, that was close. Sit. Speak. That was a snort. <laughs> speak. There you go, have a donut. What do you think? Is it good? Shelby's over here taking her time as always. Memphis already finished hers. That does not surprise me. Sit down. You cannot steal her donut. Be good and don't steal her donut. Good stuff? Good stuff? <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys. Well, I think the donuts were a win. Was it a win? Yeah? All right. Well, if you guys want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below so you can see more of our treat videos. Let us know down in the comments below what you want to see us make next and if you are going to attempt to make these for your dogs. I knew you were going to check her crumbs. <laughs> As always, you guys, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Memphis, I'm pretty sure she ate it all. She didn't leave you any. She ate it all. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.